Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. In my previous video, I was showing to you how to install Windows 11 on your MacBook using the Parallels Desktop app. Today, I will show you how to set up the Parallels Desktop virtual machine with Windows 11 specifically for gaming on your M1, M1 Pro or M2 MacBook. I'm not a very heavy gamer, but from time to time I like to play GTA 5 or some other games just for fun. I don't have a gaming PC or PlayStation, but I have a pretty powerful MacBook Pro, that's why I decided to install Windows on my Mac to be able to play PC games. Also in this video, I will demonstrate to you how PC games are performing on my 16-inch M1 Pro MacBook. Guys, I was really surprised with the final result, stay until the end of this video and I will show you how I set up my virtual machine to get the maximum graphics and performance specifically for gaming on my MacBook Pro. Well, as you probably know, there are not so many games available for macOS platform, but there are a lot of them made specifically for Windows, like GTA 5, Fortnite, Counter-Strike, Mudrunner, Forza Horizon and many more. Since M1 and M1 Pro processors are very powerful, they can easily handle both macOS and Windows at the same time, so you can run any app or game made for Windows directly on your MacBook. To be able to play PC games on your Mac, first, you will need to create your Windows 11 virtual machine in the Parallels desktop app. Just check out my video about the installation process, the link is in the description, it's super easy and fast. Once you got Windows 11 installed, you can download any game of your choice on your virtual machine. You can install Steam, Epic Games or any other platform to download or purchase games. I own several titles on Epic Games, so I can just simply download them and run them through the client. I have 4 games installed on my virtual Windows 11 PC, GTA 5, Mudrunner, Valorant and Rocket League. On my Steam account I have Counter-Strike, Fishing Simulator and some other free games. Let's run GTA 5 and check how it looks on my 16-inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. As you can see, the game runs very smoothly and without any issues or lags. I was blown away when I just installed Grand Theft Auto for the first time on my Mac. Actually, M1 Pro is a very capable processor, so you can play on it almost any Windows game via virtual machine without any problems at all. For some regular M1 users, I will recommend you lower the graphics in the games 
because you may experience some lags and small freezes from time to time. It's normal, Virtual Machine is a very heavy app to run and it uses a lot of resources. For a better gaming experience, you will also need to make some changes and adjustments to the Parallels desktop app to give more resources for running Windows 11. To grant more resources for Windows 11 Virtual Machine, first stop your Virtual Machine and go to the Settings window in the Parallels desktop app. Here you can tune your Virtual PC specifically to your needs. I recommend choosing Productivity mode. From my experience, it works better for both gaming and working with other native Windows apps. Next, go to the Material section and choose how many CPU cores can be used by your virtual machine. My computer has 10 CPU cores and 16GB of RAM. I decided to allow for the Parallels desktop to use up to 8 cores and up to 12GB of RAM memory. While using fewer resources, I experienced some minor lags in my games, that's why I decided to go hard and toggle settings to the maximum values. When I started playing games for the first time, I had some tiny freezes and only when I changed settings in my virtual machine, I started noticing that games are working much better. Also, before playing games via Parallels desktop, I'm usually rebooting my computer to clean up the memory. On M1 Pro, I can easily switch between Windows 11 and Mac OS. As you can see, it uses about 50% of my CPU and around 70% of RAM memory. My computer stays cold almost all the time, just after several hours of gaming it can become a little bit warm. Now hitting issues on Apple Silicon processors. I never thought that I will be able to play GTA 5 and other PC games on the maximum graphics via virtual machine on my Mac. Actually, the latest MacBook Pro with M1 Pro chip is a very good machine. I'm really happy with my purchase. Playing games on this 120Hz Pro Motion Retina display feels amazing. This is probably one of the best displays ever made. Some of you guys asked me in the comment section of my previous video how to move your virtual machine on the external hard drive to keep some free space on your local SSD on your Mac. It's very simple, you just need to find the PVM file with your virtual machine and move it to your external SSD. That's all you have to do. All data and games from the virtual machine will be transferred to your external SSD. Even if you will decide to delete the Parallels desktop app on your computer, your virtual machine and all files in it will be saved on your external SSD. You can even connect your external drive to any other Mac and run your virtual machine from there. Save your progress and go back to your previous computer and resume the game. With Parallels Desktop, you can also create other virtual machines with other operational systems of your choice. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Parallels Desktop and gaming on your M1 or M2 computer, please let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to help you and answer all of your questions. You can also check out my other videos as well. Thanks for watching and see you soon on YouTube. Bye bye. And for those of you who have some free time, I will leave you a short let's play in GTA 5. Enjoy.